Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Marissa and I'm your girl Vicky and we are MV London, London Reviews. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cheesy. Is that gonna no, be our thing? I feel like we go MV London, London Reviews. It's fine. Okay, cool. <laughs> So today's video is about fun things, fun activities you can do in London. Yes, we thought we'd do a video on this because we go to quite a few fun places and people are always like, where is this, where is that? So here are five places we recommend that you guys should check out if you're looking for something fun to do. So the first one we want to recommend is Otherworld. Otherworld is an immersive VR gaming experience and it's located in Haggerstone, which is next to Hackney. So I went before this third lockdown. The funny thing is, not many people knew about Otherworld and I randomly discovered it, but I'm so glad I did because I had so much fun. I don't know about you, but I just love like immersive gaming experiences and like VR stuff. When I went there, I posted it, put it on TikTok, blew up. Blue, blue. it literally blew, blew up. up. And not many like, people didn't know this place existed and it's so cool, yeah. you walk in and I understand why it's called Otherworld because it literally feels like another world. It feels like you're about to board a spaceship, go into space. And they've got these individual pods, so you have your own little pod and you can connect with your friends through an earpiece. And it's kind of like a virtual world. So you go in, you choose games in the world and you're literally walking to each game inside the virtual world. And you can play Fruit Ninja, you can play like zombie killing. It is so fun, I loved it. When you play these games, you collect points and depending on how many points you get, you get a free drink at the end. It could be a cocktail, it could be a non-alcoholic drink, it could be juice, coffee. But the whole point is that you're collecting these games to then buy a drink at the end. They have a bar there. The only thing I would say about Otherworld is, as I mentioned, you're literally walking to each game in the virtual world. You can get a bit nauseous during that stage where you're walking from game to game because in the virtual world you're walking but then literally you're just in reality you're standing still so i think it just plays like a mind a mind mess with with your brain do you know what i mean do you get do you get what i'm saying yeah. so, so imagine like in the game you're walking but then in reality you're you're standing still so you can you can oh get, okay yeah so it can, your mind mm, yeah. your mind is thinking you're moving but you're not so you get sick and i think i think i could be wrong that's probably the reason why they give you a free drink at the end why you earn these points because depending on your tolerance level in terms of like car sickness and stuff it could be okay but then you could actually get really sick i was okay I think, not gonna lie, at some points I was like on my knees. <laughs> I had to go on my knees and like move about because if I was Are there to... like any scary games? Yeah, there's like zombie games and stuff. Oh, okay. I didn't want to participate in those ones too much. You didn't play the scary ones? I don't like scary games, but there are scary games. I, I, <laughs> I, I like the fun ones, but I did play one zombie one. But the person... <laughs> I won't even go into it. I did play one zombie, zombie one and I was just like, get me out. But yeah, there are other gaming experiences that are just as good and don't make you feel nauseous. And we're about to go into that in a second. Um, so there's Electric Game Box and there's DNA VR. So those are other two that, yeah, we think you should check out. But overall, minus that, I had a lot of fun at Otherworld. So moving on to the next immersive gaming experience I was just mentioning, Electric Game Box. It's an immersive group gaming experience. So within the room, you're allowed two to six people. The more people you go with, the more the fun, fun it is. Yeah. So many things each person is meant to do. So the more people you go with, the, the more fun. The more yeah. fun and easier it is to like gain those points and win the games. We went with four, so we would recommend like four to six people. Yeah, so if you're looking to do something fun in London, check out Electric Game Box. It's uh, very affordable and it, it was a good time. We had we had fun. We actually had fun. 
Yeah, and you can play different games. What I love about Electric Game Box is that you choose a game and then there's loads of mini games within the game. Mm -hmm. And then you're given an overall grade based on all your points with your group. So we got, was it a B plus? Yeah, the grade. Um, yeah. My favorite game was Temple Coin. I just, <laughs> at first, that was fun. Yeah. it took us a while to get it because yeah. we're like, where did we go? Yeah. Um, but yeah. You don't even have to move your whole body, but yeah. you end up moving your whole body <laughs> <laughs> you, because the thing is on your head, you're supposed to just like move your head, but you end up going like this, like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the bubble hats. I think the bubble hats are so They're cute. funny. They're, They're cute. cute. But I love that you literally get this private room for yourself with you and your friends so you can scream, shout, be silly and just have fun in there. Yeah. Next one, which I absolutely love, is Puppy Yoga. So the company I did Puppy Yoga with is Paul for Thoughts. I didn't even know Puppy Yoga was a thing. I really didn't know. In, in London? Yeah. Because you always see these cool different yoga experiences. You see hot yoga you see goat yoga usually in america as well you see these cool things but i did some digging and i found paul for thoughts um and then i discovered pause for thought on instagram a few celebrities have actually been like the only way is essex have been and a few others but what i loved about paul for thoughts is that they have various locations and they had um they were doing a session local to me in southeast london so we went and I can't remember the breeze of the puppies, but they were just oh, they so were so cute. cute. They were so cute. And the thing They're is, so like, cute. I'm not around dogs or pets in general a lot. So at first, the puppies I'm, are so cute. I was a little bit awkward. I was like, I don't have to tell. <laughs> but then, oh, after do you not around, like? Do you not like dogs in that? No, it's not that I don't like dogs. I'm just those kind of people who like don't know how to hold it at first. Like, oh, I need okay. time because I'm not, I'm not around pets a lot. Are you around pets a lot? My friends have dogs. Uh, what I love is that they bring in different breeds, so different puppies each session, so it's never the same puppies. So um, yeah, the sessions are one hour. Don't feel pressured if you don't know any yoga because I think the main thing is to play, play with, with puppies. puppies. So the poses, the yoga poses the instructor shows us are really simple. So you can follow along while playing with puppies or if you really just want to play with the puppies, you can just sit there and play with the puppies. So it's really cool. The puppies are six weeks old, so they're very young. So you have to be like gentle with them, but that makes them even cuter. But again, that is, I created a TikTok for that and that blew up. <laughs> on Instagram and um, everyone was like where is this where is that so I'm sure a lot more people are now going to be trying out puppy yoga so yeah I'm gonna look out to see if there's any kind of other interesting yoga oh yeah that would be sessions cool. yeah so if there's like a goat one in the UK <laughs> I really want to try goat, goat yoga, yoga I, wow. I want a goat to jump on my back <laughs> don't know how that <laughs> But I'm gonna look out for more interesting yoga classes and we'll let you guys know. And the final place we recommend is Fight Club. Fight Club is essentially a bar, but it has a lot of cool, fun activities like games. The main thing are their social darts. So they've got various locations around London. I've been to the one in Victoria and it's just a lot of fun to go with a group and they've got really nice scene areas they do great cocktails and the service is really nice there you play darts i think they're the first digital social darts game thing but it's really good to go over group people usually like if they're looking for something fun to do while drinking people usually go yeah the decor is quirky and modern and you could just get the drinks flowing and just play games so yeah that is another fun place that you should check out if you're looking to kick back, chill, have some drinks, but then have some entertainment while you're at the bar. Right, guys. Uh, so I've just realised during editing that some of the content has gone missing. I don't know where it's gone. It's vanished. Um. So yeah, I have to come to you like this. I'm sorry. This is just ruining the flow of the video. I'm so sorry, but I can't find the content where I was actually talking about another fun activity to do in London. I don't know where it's gone. It's just literally vanished. I've watched the content back so many times, but hey ho. So I'm here with my editing self to hit, to tell you about Ninja Warrior in Watford. So this one just recently opened actually. They have a few more around um, 
throughout the UK. So if you don't know what Ninja Warrior is, it's a TV show, but they've also have an actual an actual venue. You should definitely check it out, add it to your bucket list. It was a lot of fun when I went with my friends. So basically, you can book online. We booked online. You book an hour time slot. Make sure you're on time. They give you a colored wristband. So if you miss your time slot, you can't join onto the next time slot, especially if the session is full. But yeah, apart from that, it's affordable. They were around 15 pounds. It's easy to book online, but yeah. It was a great time and now we get back to the video. And that's it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this one too. Yes, um, let us know in the comments below if you have already been to any of the places we've recommended or if you're now going to go. Like, comment and subscribe guys. <laughs> yes, make sure to subscribe. Keep watching because we've got more coming. Um, hit the notification bell so you can get reminded of when our videos come out. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Peace <laughs> to you. Do you know what that is? Who did that? I don't know why I saw that. All of us. Oh, Peace okay. to you. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Marissa. And I'm your girl, Vicky. Vicky was doing this. Do you want to do? Supermarket. you bringing Supermarket. <laughs> Just sipping my super mouth. Just sipping water out of the Starbucks cup. <laughs> super mouth. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to eat this. I love the sweets like this. Which one should I eat first? What do you want more? I'm going to save this. And then eat it after. Hi, guys. Do you want to eat? <laughs> <laughs>